Greetings, mortals. The founder of Zophar's Domain is here to show all of you how to get the Sega Saturn core onto your mister using a Mac via FTP. Now, I know you could just use the micro SD card, copy the stuff over, and call it a day, but it can be a little tricky getting the SD card out of there, so I'm going to show you how to do it with your Mac via FTP. So let's go. It's going to look like this. Press the A button and go to the left, and that'll get you the information screen. See the IP address up here? Mine's 10.0.0.134. Remember that. It's going to be important in a little bit here. Okay. So go ahead and jump on Discord. If you don't have Discord, link's right in the YouTube panel. Click on the Mr. Discord here. Go to Unstable Nightlies under Feed and Test Builds. You're going to need a couple things. First of all, go ahead and get the latest Saturn Core. The latest single SD RAM build is right down here. As of this video, it's June 8th. The latest dual core as of this video is right over here for May 10th. I download both just for fun, but I use the dual SD RAM for the most part because that's the setup that I have. If you don't know which one you actually need, look at the back of your mister. If you have analog outputs, then chances are you need single. And if you don't, dual. Once you've downloaded those, you're also going to need the latest unstable mister binary, which as of this YouTube video is right over here from May 28th. So go ahead and download that. And you're also going to need the Saturn bias. And no, I'm not telling you where you get that. Search is your friend. So now once you have all that, you'll have your four files. Make sure you name your Saturn BIOS boot.rom if you want this to actually work. For the Mr. binary, you have to make sure that it's named Mr. So if there's an extension at the end, make sure you chop that off. And then you're going to have your Saturn cores. Again, single SDRAM if you ever single, dual if you are a dual user. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up Cyberduck. You can use any FTP program you want here. I prefer Cyberduck just because ease of use. Uh, but you can use any one that you want. Now remember, we're going to go back to the screen here. 10.0.0.134 is my IP, right? You put in whatever yours says. So 10.0.0.134. The username is going to be root. The password is going to be one. Go ahead and connect. Now we're going to go to the root of the drive, which is the front slash right here. Then you're going to go into media and fat. Now from here, a couple things you're going to have to do. Firstly, go to underscore console. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the Saturn cores. And we're going to pop them right in here. Okay. Now they're in there. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into games. Make yourself a Saturn folder in here. If you're not sure how to do that, you can just go to File, New Folder, and then you can type in Saturn. All of your games will go in here. And then you're going to take that boot.rom, which is that BIOS folder, and just drop it in the root of Saturn. Okay? Now, the last thing that you want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you pop in the unstable Mr. Binary. So to do that, I recommend you take your old one and rename it to mister.old. That way, if something goes wrong, you can always revert back. And then I'm going to take that new unstable nightly, which we've named mister. I'm just going to pop it in here. Just like that. It's that easy. Now, if we did everything correctly, we will have liftoff. Let's see. Go into our console cores. And if we did it right, yep, we got both the Saturn cores. We'll go ahead and load up dual for purposes of my build. And then we're going to go ahead and load up my favorite Saturn game of all time. The amazingly programmed, not at all buggy, glitchy, or slow, virtual Hydlide. Don't judge. I mean, you can judge if you really want to. And there we go. Virtual Hydlide. We have liftoff. Give it a little test whirl here. Make sure it's working as it should. As well as it can. Highly recommend you use the Zofar seat if you want to torture yourself like I do. There we go. And let's do a little load here. And there we go. Virtual freaking Hydlide. 
I hope this video was helpful. Liking and subscribing really helps me out to bring more content that you enjoy, including the upcoming Zophar's Retro Rewind, my emulation retrospective from my days running Zophar's domain in the 90s. Have a great day, mortals. <laughs>